Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today we are going to acquire and inspect the unique robes known as Taron Dreth's Robes. An item that isn't amazing, but a collectible and unique item nonetheless, with a cool story attached to it. And now a timestamp for the overview of Taron Dreth's Robes can be found down in the description, along with links to my social media and to my other Skyrim Special Edition guides. Be sure to check all of that out and please consider sponsoring the channel. And if you are following this guide on the Skyrim Standard Edition, you will need the Dawnguard DLC installed to acquire this item. Now to get these, we will need to have finished the epic quest called Lost to the Ages. Luckily for you, I've just completed a guide to this quest, from which we get to craft one of three ethereal artifacts. Now during Lost to the Ages, we read a book called The Ethereum Wars, which was published by one Taran Dreth. We then met a ghost named Katria, who was betrayed by her apprentice, who stole all of her work and published it for himself. That apprentice was Taran Dreth. So once this lengthy quest has been completed, while wandering the many roads of Skyrim, we will have a new random encounter added to the list, in which we'll see a Dunmar walking with three mercenaries. Again, this will only have a chance of occurring once you have completed the Lost to the Ages quest. Upon spotting you, the following interaction will transpire. Your crown. Gods, it's made of ethereum, pure ethereum. Where did you find it? Tell me. Who are you? Taron Dreth, the world's foremost expert on Dwemer forging techniques. Now, answer my question. I made it. What? You... You found the forge? The ethereum forge? I had some help from Katria. Katria? No, no, that's not possible. You... You know too much. I can't afford to let you live. Guards, kill him! So take out the filthy mercenaries and then slay Taran Dreth himself. Now that the traitorous Taran Dreth has been hunted and felled like the savage monster he is, we can rummage through his belongings and take whatever we want from his twitching corpse. Of course, there are some interesting things in here, but we are here for the unique robes of his. Take them. Taran Dreth's robes. The slot is of course the chest. They have a weight of one, which is quite good, a value of 1113, and the enchantment. Destruction spells cost 15% less to cast, and Magicka regenerates 75% faster. Needless to say, this enchantment would be useful to those wishing to use destruction spells, more often than other spells of course as they'll now cost 15% less to cast, and you'll get your Magicka back 75% faster. So, Taran Dreth's robes are physically identical to the Master robes, but they have the same enchantment as the Apprentice Robes of Destruction, which is actually an inferior enchantment to that which is normally found on a Master Robe. So this way, you can look dangerous without actually being as dangerous as enemies might think you are. It's like having a Daedric Sword with a base damage of 1. Interestingly though, the Master Robes have a blue enchantment glow, whereas Taran Dreth's robes have a yellowish orange enchantment glow, so that's a unique feature about them. Now if you are not carrying an ethereal artifact with you, but you run into Taran Dreth, you can talk to him and tell him about Catrio. He will then initiate combat as previously seen. Also, regardless of your speech option choices with Taran Dreth, he will attack you. Now, Taran Dreth is a Dunma, and the Dreth family name actually has a long list throughout the games. His ancestors, found in the Elder Scrolls Online, consist of Relmiria Dreth, Savaim Dreth, Suri Dreth, and Veneval Dreth. In the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, there is also a bandit named Madzu Dreth. In the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, there is one Hlolvul Dreth, and there is also that pile of garbage at the start of the game, the Dunmar in the cell opposite to you, who is an absolute wind-up. His name is Valandreth. 
So the family name Dreth is an old one, and one that doesn't exactly hold honour, which ironically Taron Dreth has lived up to his family name, or lack thereof. But don't worry, you haven't killed the last known Dreth, as there is actually another Dreth in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, namely Romlin Dreth found at the Black Briar Meadery, who is stealing mead. So again, the Dreth family name isn't a great one. Nonetheless, we now have Taran Dreth's robes, and the filthy backstabber has been slain in the name of Catria. So now Taran Dreth has met his end with sudden revenge-filled Dreth. <laughs> And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide for the unique robes known as Taran Dreth's robes. I do hope this video helped you out and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out my other Skyrim special edition guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way and get some awesome on YouTube perks, you can of course become a sponsor. Links to that can be found down below. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.